What's up, up EXO family, family and, and welcome, welcome back, back to our, our channel. If I didn't mind, but hit on guard, would you still? If I minimize my net worth, would you still? Keep it a hundred, I'd rather you trust me than two. So today we are finally, I always wanted to do this video, but today we are finally doing a mukbang. Mukbang. Mukbang, whatever the hell you call it, video. But ours, ours, our video is gonna be. Ours. <laughs> our video is gonna be a little different because we didn't order out a bunch of food. Yeah, I, we're, not, we're gonna be wasting a bunch of food. No. So. I cook the food that we are going to eat for this mukbang, mukbang video. Bang. I can't say it. Say it. Muk, like muk. Mukbang. Yeah. So muk. I cook the food for this mukbang video. Am I still saying it wrong? No. Okay. So. I already started. I'm sorry. Anyways, so I cook. I'm gonna put some videos of me cooking, preparing this food right now. <laughs> so anyways guys, yeah, I made this food. As you can see here, I am preparing the food. I am preparing the meat, the potatoes. And here is a picture or a video of the final product. Yes, I know, it looks delicious, you guys. So yeah, let's, you know we're supposed to talk about something while we're eating. Yeah, do you know that? I know that. Cause you just up and say, oh, we doing a mukbang, you don't even say what we talked about. It's never nothing planned, you just talk. Yeah. Okay. So, with further ado, let's get into this nap bang video. Cause I'm hungry. Yeah. What we talking? Hold up. <laughs> he has to eat hot sauce on everything. Everything. If it ain't, if it ain't, uh, Grace. Which, That's not even whoa. Grace. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I don't done. like Tabasco. Tabasco hot sauce is not what's up. So you gotta have the real stuff like that Jamaican hot sauce. Either Grace or Caribbean Sunshine. You're always saying that because that's the only one that's there. No, that's the only one that actually compares you to Grace. Mm -hmm. But anyway. I do have some questions mm -hmm. in my phone. Go ahead. That I asked people to can I finish talking? Oh. I asked people like a couple months back to send me some questions to do a Q&A video and I never got to it and I tried to do it on a live fail because I couldn't get it to my phone to read them. So, we could do that, you wanna do that? Mm -hmm. Let's do that. If you guys are wondering um, what our backdrop is, <laughs> a previous video you see my, my daughter had her first birthday party and we haven't taken it off the wall yet so we made it a backdrop, you feel me? Look, my mama told me don't eat and talk at the same time. Yeah, that's why you're talking. Huh? So I can't. I can't talk right now. But I'm gonna talk though. I'm just being extra. Who the hell is that? You don't know who that is? Nope. You don't know who that is? Mm -mm. Oh, well, if you don't know, I don't know. I ask me dumb questions. Asking no questions. Come on, man. Asking no questions. Asking no questions. Asking no questions. Asking no questions. Why you asking no questions? Make a statement. You could go anywhere in the world with me. Where, where would it be? With you or yeah, the with her. Who, the person who's, who's sent asking. It. The person who's asking. If you could go anywhere in the world with me, where would it be? I would say to her country. Where's my country? Puerto Rico. Right. So. That would make sense. We'll be going to Puerto Rico. Because that's your country. So if we're going anywhere, let's go there. I wouldn't be going nowhere with you because I don't even know who you are. You actually do know who that is. <laughs> Who's that? Dana. Oh, Dana. Oh, okay. okay. See, I know, I don't know. Yeah, I know Dana. Um, yeah, I'll be going to her country. She's going to be showing me where all the food at. Y'all, because <laughs> we like to eat. I need everything, I like everything, all the all the local food, everything. If you guys are wondering what I'm drinking, it's grape juice. <laughs> I wanted to be fancy and put it in a fancy um, wine glass. 
Describe me in three emojis. That's really for you, like. <laughs> <laughs> um, three emojis for Dana would be. I don't even know all the emojis, but it would have to be a laughing emoji because she makes me freaking crack up. The she dork uses, emoji. The dork, yes. <laughs> she is a dork. Like she's. Just, <clears throat> and a heart emoji because I love you. Mm -hmm. You're awesome. Say something you'll always wanted to tell me. Mm, what did I always want to tell you? I tell you everything that I have to tell you. Um, you're awesome. I don't know. These questions are supposed to be like. Yeah. <laughs> it's all about her. Yeah, this you're so selfish. <laughs> this question is all about you. One time you got really scared. You go first. Hmm. <laughs> when I was younger, my dad told me not to go. There's a place what we call Bayside. <clears throat> anyway, it's, it's like where everybody goes to hang out and go swimming and stuff like that um, in Antigua. So he told me not to go, go to the Bayside and and I'm going anyway. So my uncle, he works on the on the like an island right next to us or whatever. You gotta take a ferry over there. So my uncle came over there and he saw me and I instantly like froze up because <laughs> I know my dad told me not to go over there. I, I thought he was gonna tell. I ended up snitching on myself. <laughs> so that was that was one time I got you, really really scared. You got really scared? Yeah. Of what an ass Hell yeah. I guess I was a G because I was never scared of asshole. Mm-hmm. How many, how many ashes did you ask? A lot. Yeah, right. <laughs> you want to go ask my mom? <laughs> she probably denies it. I would say recently, um, we have SeaWorld passes, and my family was in town. My cousin Nikki, <laughs> and they made me go on the Mako, <laughs> the Mako ride at SeaWorld. <laughs> Mind you, I didn't want to go on there. For some reason, like before, I always used to go on roller coasters and I've never been that scared in that moment. I don't know why. Maybe because when you have a kid, excuse me, when you have a kid now, it's like, okay, well, I'm living for somebody. What if I die? So going on that ride scared the hell out of me. That's the scary, the scariest, the scariest I've been in a long time. Like I was really scared. And I don't know if you guys know, but the Mako ride, there's no like straps right here to hold you in. It's literally like a little thing right here on your leg. So the whole ride, this, all of this is loose and you're like, <laughs> mm. Yeah, just thinking about it. I ain't going on that shit. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I mean, after I was like, why am I so scared? It wasn't that serious, but. I was cursing him out on that ride. That's like the slingshot. I would never want a slingshot. I would go on that. Nope, you on your own. Do you believe in ghosts? I do. Yeah? Mm hmm. Me too. But I don't like to talk about that stuff. <laughs> I feel like. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I'm scary. I don't do scary movies, <laughs> haunted house, none of that. I've been wanting to go to Hollow Scream and Halloween Horror Nights forever, but I'm too scared to do that stuff. Like, no. Do you believe in aliens? Mm, I don't believe in aliens. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? The only alien I believe in is E.T. E.T. Phone home. <laughs> Have you ever stabbed someone? The hell? Actually, Almost. I did. <laughs> that was crazy as shit. <laughs> Back in elementary. <clears throat> um, with a pencil. But it wasn't on purpose. Y'all be crazy. Nah. So yeah, I did. No By pencil. accident, with a pencil in elementary. Ain't no pencil. <laughs> Actually, I think they had to go take like a lead test and everything because the, the, the thing broke off and the, the... I stabbed somebody with a pencil before. On purpose? Yes. Crazy, you should've told me this before I got stabbed. married. I almost stabbed somebody with a damn knife. I'm crazy. They were, they were and this, with me. This was back in the days, right? Yeah. Mm, okay. It was like two on one. They wanted to fight me. I'm not gonna, look. One thing you know about me. One thing they know about you? One thing you should know about me, I should say. Oh, okay. I will not fight you fair. There's no um, if and buts about that. What do you mean by When it fight? comes to two on one. Oh no. I don't know. 
And I always kept a knife on me. No. One high school. Two people trying to jump me. And ain't no fair. You think I'm gonna be fighting, fist fighting? And nah, they didn't know I had the knife. Cause mm -hmm. like I held it like I held it like this. Are we really getting into this though? Yeah, I held it like this. And I'm I mean, they they're standing in front of me, so I held it like this. Just chilling and then you And know, you're about to get jumped? Yeah. So in high school? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Hmm? That's another story, huh? Yeah. That could be a story time. But anyway, so I held it like this, and they tried to, you know, fight me or whatever. So I swung it up like this. I'm like, <laughs> and it cut his shirt. It cut his shirt. And he, it, it, they it, left. Yeah. Like his his whole shirt was just. That's a sharp I was knife. trying. I was trying to. I was trying to cut his heart out. Jay, um, I'm sorry. It's a little crazy. <laughs> It's it's true. <laughs> what? The next question got me dying. Have you ever farted? <laughs> you see the question? You ask the question. Have you ever farted during sex? Did you guys hear that? I'm scared. This is gross. Who I mean, but what if it? <laughs> I can't, oh, well. I'm not gonna put them on blast who asked the question. Mm. Who does that? If, if somebody was to do that, I'm getting up like, really? But what do you mean, it comes out as an accident? I don't even think your body can do that, like. Yes, the hell it can, your body can fart. I need to give it a moment. Like, nah, bro. No. Nah, nah, bro. My first Spanish word, what was your first Spanish word? Puta. It was a bad word. Do you even know what that means? Or something like that. <laughs> Something like that. If, if you guys are wondering while we keep looking right over there, Malia's in her high chair eating her dinner as well. So yeah, um, my first Spanish, just the basic stuff like hola, I think that's my first Spanish word. Nope. I was definitely, I heard you bad as hell. Who do you look up to? I guess like a person? Honestly, you want to answer that first? Mm -mm. I'm gonna go mm -mm. first. I don't look up to anybody, but God. There's no like actual person that I look up to. <clears throat> I don't know. Is that weird? Not an actual person. I don't feel like anybody should look up to a person. What about you? Millionaires. You look up to millionaires? Why? To see how they get stuff done? Yep. Is that what they mean by who I look up to? Like role model? I don't know because I don't have nobody to look up to. What's your favorite memory from high school? <laughs> you don't know one? Yeah. What are you laughing? Because, anyway, so it was prom, right? Oh, prom, whatever. And it was me, my, my, my best friend, Big Mike, and... Rest in peace, Big Mike. Mm -hmm, that's my boy. So uh, it was me, Big Mike, and um, a couple other friends. Jaquan. Um, you know, my first time going to prom, whatever. And it's, for some reason, I just started sliding through, the, sliding on the dance floor with my shoes. <laughs> just started like running and then, woo! Were you in socks? No, it in my dress, shoes, my dress, dress shoes. shoes, yeah. And I just slid through the whole prom, just woo! I'm like, yeah, boy. Everybody was looking at me like I was stupid, but. That's your. Uh, <laughs> 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 That's a good question. <clears throat> my favorite memory from high school. I would have to say, well, I went to high school, Timber Creek High School. Like my favorite memories was just like, we used to have this thing called, what was it called? Pep rallies. Mm -hmm. Did you used to have pep rallies? Every school. Everybody used to go in the gym. Every school? I don't know. <laughs> used to go in the gym and like my favorite was just like watching like the dancers and the step and everybody performing like, I don't know those memories like that, like football games. <laughs> just like all the hype fun stuff at school. Good memories. Mm -hmm. I wish I could redo everything. Mm. Mm. You know, I had fun in high school. When did you know Jay was the one? Hmm, this is a question for me. When did I know he was the one? I don't know, the act, what you doing, sipping tea? I can sip tea too. <laughs> oh, where we get tea from? Mm -hmm. You know 
I mean? <laughs> I don't know how to put a date on it. <clears throat> I don't know. I just, it was more of like a gut feeling. Like, you went with your gut like, hey God, what are you on? I don't know. I don't have a day of when did you know he was the one? I think that I always knew, like from the beginning, because it was just like really different and really like genuine and it was a different vibe. I think so. I knew kind of from the, the beginning that, okay, this person's not going to be playing with me or just like joking around like it's serious. So I would say. <laughs> keep from talking, the, girl. Shut up. From the beginning, hey, bitch. Keep talking, girl. <laughs> So yeah, from the beginning. <laughs> next question, man. You know, next question, girl. Go back to that question. The food's done. You know what? The question is over. You know when I was one girl. Huh? You see your daddy? That girl. Hmm. You want my mashed potatoes? I'm done. I'm cold. I don't want your mashed potatoes. I'm cold. Mashed potatoes. <laughs> yeah, the food's kind of cold now. <laughs> so, next question. Where do you see yourself in five years? On a beach. And uh, in five years, of course, more successful. In five years, we should have a million subscribers. Definitely. A million subscribers. What's the, well, way before that, way I before hope. That. Come on, EXO family. We can do it. We can do it. We can do it, EXO family. <laughs> <laughs> more supporters on YouTube. A big house. Um, nice cars. Um, I don't need it. Like, I, traveling. Traveling, because nice that's our thing. I just need me two trucks. That's a, that's a lot. No, that's not a lot, because those two cars out there are leaving going bye-bye. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get a big-ass SUV, mm -hmm. and I'm going to get me an F-250. To pull his yacht. To, you already knew that, yep. <laughs> to pull his boat. I'm get me a Because he's a fish To head. pull my boat, and a, a house with a big backyard in five years. Yeah, pretty much. It's pretty simple. It's successful. Like, watch the day. A, a good income, like a com not comfortable, a, good, a very nice income, where we're more than comfortable. Yep. And you know, just living life. Pretty much. I mean, we're not that difficult people. We're very simple, to be honest with you. No. Hi. You don't agree? Mm-hmm. Do you want more kids? I knew this question was gonna come up. She talking to you, whoever. They talking to you because they just I already questions. got five kids. Michelle has one. Okay, answer the question. That's for you to answer. If Michelle wants another child, then Michelle will get another child. If Michelle don't want another child, I ain't complaining. Why are you lying? He's lying. This man be talking to me every day. I want my son. I want another son. I want a son. Like, I have the magic to be like, do 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 do. Here's the son. Because I can fix the gender. <laughs> what Hi. Hi. For me, it'd be a yes. One more. Two is my limit. That's it. If you can start a business, what would you be? Yeah. So I would say, I feel like there's not a lot of not stuff out there pertaining to like natural childbirth and how you don't have to go to the hospital kids you can have at home birth water birth there's all different types of stuff out there that people don't really know is possible or like a lotus baby you're keeping everything attached and just all the information about like natural ways to have kids <laughs> if I could start a business I would start a business about that informational type stuff and like also products like people don't know that you're actually it's good to like steam after you have a child to like get everything, all the clots and everything. Like those products, like steaming products or anything pertaining to like natural birth stuff. Cause there's, it's not, it's not a big industry. Cause not everybody knows that you could do these things. So I would sell, you know, items pertaining to that natural type stuff. If that makes sense. So yeah. What would my business be? Let me see if you know. Your business? If you were to start a business, mm -hmm. would it have to, to be something pertaining to fishing? <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> oh, 
Oh, yeah. Yep, it'll be something to do with fishing. Either chartered boats or something, or just some on brand of fishing line or something. I don't know, but yeah, something to do with fishing. Another business, now that I'm thinking about it, this will be a side hustle though. Like, if I could start a business, like, I love decorating. Decorating, yeah. <laughs> I love decorating, I love party planning. So, probably something like that. Or even like, I was even thinking about buying, you know, saving up some money and buying like bounce house and stuff or renting them out. That's a business. That's a, a good business because them things are expensive. Mm hmm. So, yeah. You know. So, yeah. Let's say those two. So, yeah. I'm a very business savvy person. I honestly don't feel like I want to work for anybody but myself. But it takes a lot to start your own business, but just wait on it. Just to remember this video, okay? Next question. You have one. Oh. <laughs> Looking at you for it. Okay, coffee or tea? Coffee. Tea. Um, if you were forced to participate in a purge, what would you do? If I was forced to participate, participate in, in a purge? purge? First of all, I don't watch any of that stuff. I just know that a purge is like when you could just get away with anything for a night, right? Mm-hmm. What would I part what? First of all, while everybody is on land killing everybody, I'm going to be on the boat out <laughs> in the ocean. <laughs> Catching some fish. Catching fish. And I'm going to have a bazooka. So if I see any boats coming nearby, <laughs> I'm blowing that shit up. <laughs> I don't know, like, I don't Trust know nothing me. about that. I can't even I'm gonna have that. me a bazooka ready, just douche. You, oh, you coming up? Douche. Because <laughs> it's hard to come get in to you. Me. I'm gonna have rockets. What and if everything. other people had boats? Like, you use a bazooka, like you My said. My point exactly, use a rocket launcher and a, and a bazooka. So you get off land. Douche. Yeah, douche, douche. You douche. know, my, my answer to that, I'm gonna be with you. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> What's your celebrity crush? I think we're gonna be wrapping this up. This video is getting a little long. Woo! Now. Celebrity crush. Megan Good. That's everybody's. Typical. Megan Good, Lauren London. Typical. I don't care. You don't have nothing like it's, it's, different. It definitely won't be Nicki Minaj or Cardi B no. or none of them. Fake people. They are like fake. And I mean, I, 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 I like Tiana Taylor at her personality, but I just don't. I still see her as a little tomboy. Yeah, from Sweet 16. Yeah, so, no. I don't know why everybody going crazy over her like that, but. I guess her body. She's really fit though. Yeah. She's really fit. Um, My celebrity crush. I, I never have nothing to say. Um, I love Party Next Door. I love his music, but I don't feel like he's my crush. Does that make sense? Like I like why you said you like what's the face personality, mm -hmm. but you don't really like her. Mm -hmm. But party next door, woo! Party next door, my nigga. But crush. What kind of celebrities are there again? <laughs> I don't know. Let's wrap this up. Last question. She is putting the potato on her finger. <laughs> The mashed potato she on her finger off. and licking it like this. Like who is who eats the mashed potato like that? Um favorite, this is gonna be the last one. Favorite tropical fruit. So when we say tropical, you're talking about tropical, like stuff we find in the islands. I love the naps. No, the good ones. Like the one with the meat on it and it tastes good, not just. I like sugar apples. Oh, sugar cane. No, sugar apple, or what Jamaicans call it, sweet sap. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> That's my answer to everything. So, sugar cane. I love freaking. Guinepas. I love freaking. I think that's it. Sugar apple. Those are good too, but that's not my favorite. That's my favorite. So yeah, that was the last question, you guys. Thank you. You have more questions? Mm -hmm. You have something to say? Yeah, we about to go take a shower. Yeah, we about to go wash our butts. 
and take our child out the high chair. She's over it now. You done? Eat, eat. Okay. Yeah. So, so yeah. that is the end of this video. I hope it was somewhat entertaining <laughs> to you. And not too boring. And not too boring. So, yeah, we're gonna be closing this out now. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for the support, EXO family, and we'll see you in our next video. Next video gonna be lit, I promise. What you gonna do? With the things that we pronounce wrong. Your country too? Yes. Oh yeah, it's gonna be lit. <laughs> it's gonna be lit. They're gonna be funny. Watch. <laughs> Watch it. So we out, you guys. We out. Bye! Anybody, anybody, anybody. I, can't, I can't reach to close it out. Ah, ah, ah.